today we'll start a new topic that is heat and this is the first part of the this lecture series so we discuss about heat here you see the two points were right here already that is what yes what is difference between heat and temperature so if you know about heat and temperature then please tell me if you know yes you don't know okay leave it <coughs> here heat is heat and temperature these are the interrelated things means we not able or we are unable to think about temperature without heat or where there there is a temperature due to the heat means they are interrelated they are interrelated whenever the heat will increase then temperature will be increase okay the second is what what are the difference <coughs> different ways of transfer the heat how to transfer heat from one part to another part so we know very well the nature of energy is what nature nature of energy energy is always a transfer from higher amount to lower amount for example if we bring a one liter water having the 100 degrees celsius temperature it means what that water is boiling isn't it okay and i want to mix 100 liter uh, sorry a uh, 1 liter water which is temperature is 0 degree in that 100 degree celsius water after that putting this 0 degree means approx a ice 0 degree celsius it means what approx it is a in form of solid form is ice okay when i put that ice cube 1 liter ice cube in that 100 degree celsius water then what happen yes the heat of 100 degree celsius water the boiling water heat will be transferred to the ice cube okay and this expansion this energy transforming is continuously going on up to the the complete mixture get equal temperature the complete mixture getting the equal temperature okay so here we are know to understand we able to understand is what the transfer of energy is only possible from higher to lower okay means 100 degree celsius temperature is transferring to the ice cube okay and ice cube having the 0 degree celsius okay so with respect to the melting of ice cube the temperature of the liquid will getting balanced means the total temperature of after that melting the whole ice cube the total temperature of that mixture will reduce due to what due to the ice cube are you getting me what i am saying you so that is called thermal expansion that is what yes thermal expansion thermal means what yes in marathi or hindi it means oceanic okay thermal expansion the expansion of that thermal energy which 100, 100 degree celsius water having the temperature after that putting the ice cube that temperature get expand temperature get expand clear the next thing <coughs> that is what uh, suppose for example we are having a uh, water molecules or we just think about the water then do you know the state of matters yes how many state of matters yes three okay state of matters are three which are yes solid solid liquid liquid and last is what gases gases okay you just know these three things okay three state okay very good no doubt matter have total four state okay first is what solid liquid and gas these are the fundamental state and fourth one state of matter is called plasma is called what yes 
plasma. This is the first state of matter. Okay. Leave it. It is not our part of discussion. Whenever this comes in our syllabus, then I will tell you in detail what is plasma and where it used. Okay. Now today we just discuss over the these three things. Okay. Solid, liquid, and gases. As for the state of matter, we are able to understand the density of that particular state. Here, if you observe, uh, if you try to say in which state the density of matter is higher. Yes? In which state between them, which state of matter density is higher? Then your answer is what? Definitely. Yes? Say solid. Okay. But it's not right about when we take example of water. The solid state of water is what? Yes? The solid state of water is what? Ice. Clear? Then liquid state that is we call water as it is. And the gaseous state of water is what? Vapors. Vaporization. Clear? But here the solid state of water doesn't have higher density than the liquid state. In other parts, in other matter, if you think about the other matters, other elements, then the density of that element or that matter is greater in solid state than the water, but so than the liquid. But here, water is an exception. Here, the solid state of water having less density than the liquid form. That's why the ice cube is float over the surface of the water. Why? Because of due to the less density. Because of what? Due to the less density. Are you getting me? If you think about other things, suppose we will take another example of matter that is not iron. Okay. So in a solid form, iron is a metal. When we try to melt it, it becomes liquid. Now at, at the liquid form and solid form, if you try to check the density of iron, then definitely you will get larger density in solid form. Okay. But here water is not obey that rule. Why? Because of it is exceptional, ex exceptional property of matter. That is what in a solid state, state, the density of water will be less than the liquid. Okay. Now see how it change the state. Suppose here we are taking water as our example. Okay. So we know very well these are combination of what? H2O. It is a combination of H2O. Two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom and then we will make a droplet of water. Okay. That is basic thing. Okay. But now we discuss about what? How to convert the state of matter? Now here suppose I am having a water in a solid form. It means what? Ice. It means what? Ice. Now we are able to say the temperature of this solid state is what? At least, at least 0 degree. At least 0 degree. It may possible below the 0. Okay. It may possible below the 0. But there is no any possibility above the 0. Whenever the temperature will rise, above from zero then it will start to start to melt it will start to melt okay so the next is what when a temperature is goes above zero then the second state will be start that is what liquid state and we call that is what water okay when the whole ice cube getting made the whole ice cube getting made Still, the temperature of that material is not high. Is not high. It's just between 0 to 1. It's just between 0 to 1. What I'm talking about? 0 to 1. Not more than 1. Okay. Then, if I again try to increase the temperature of that water, then the temperature will be increased up to what? Up to 100 degrees Celsius. Up to? 100 degree Celsius. Yes, after that reaching at 100 degree Celsius, there is no chance to increase in temperature. Why? Because of its time to change the state of matter. It's time 
to change the state of matter. Means after the 100 degrees Celsius, the matter will be changed in the next state. That is what gases means vaporization. Now here at this position, after that reaching the 100 degrees Celsius, water will change its state and it becomes what? It becomes what? It becomes of vapor, na? After that, reaching 100 degrees Celsius, when water is boiled, the boiling point. This is also called a boiling point of what? Water. And this is what? This is what? This is what? Freezing point of water. And in between 0 to 1, 0 to 1 degree Celsius, that is what? Yes, melting point of water. This is what? Melting point of water. Clear? Are you getting me? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now think reverse, vice versa of that mechanism. Why? Why the solid state have less density than the liquid? Why? For that we learn or we try to understand when a Vapor, it becomes to water droplet. How it becomes? We know very well. Why? Because of our rain is totally dependent on this mechanism. Na? Due to the heat, the water of from this sea or ocean get vaporized and that thunders are float over the surface or above the surface of the earth somewhere in the atmosphere. And whenever that thunder or cloud getting the cold air, then it start to raining. It start to raining. So when this vapor becomes cooled, becomes cooled, then it will become water. It will become water. Okay. Start reverse generally from vapors to water. So after that, become changing the state of matter vapors to water. Then again we will start to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature. Now here, listen careful and see, observe it very carefully. How the density of solid state will reduce less than the liquid state. That is the main reason behind here. Whenever the water start to clot, water start to clot means it's starting to freeze. It means what? Two water molecules, distance between two water, water molecules will be reduced. The distance between two water molecules will be reduced, starting to reduce. When these two molecules before freezing, suppose here some distance between them, but due to the freezing or due to the uh, decrease in temperature, the distance between them will be reduced and they are connect each other. Okay. They are connecting each other. So that connecting is not directly connecting. They are compactly. They are compactly arranged. They are compactly arranged. Here the meaning of compact is it means what? The distance between two molecules, water molecules, when they are freeze or when they are clot, then while the clotting, while the clotting there is the small air gap there is the small air gap between two water molecules and that air gap is always present inside of the ice cube or in a ice due to that small air gap due to that small air bubble when the whole water become freeze but inside of two water molecules there is the small small air particles means air gap Due to that air, the density of ice is, yes, we can say the density of ice is less than what? Water. Why? Why? If someone asks you a question, why? Because of, because of the water molecules are compactly arranged while they are freeze while they are clot and while they are clot or freezing there is the small small air gap between the two water molecules 
due to that air droplet or that air bubble the density of ice is less than what is less than water clear are you getting me okay so when the solid state of matter convert into liquid form okay the solid to basunta asan mat chalu ka pause chalu hm chalu when the solid state convert into liquid form okay suppose this ice cube is completely melt now it becomes water now it becomes water okay if after that converting ice into water if there is no change in temperature if there is no change in temperature that is called latent heat or latent state that is called latent heat or latent state okay after that when a water starting to boil water starting to boil now it means what it's time to change the state means during the boiling there is the steaming from the water okay but temperature still constant temperature is not increasing while the boiling why because of it's the last state of matter last condition of water at the in state of liquid form the last state of water is what starting vaporization and at that time the maximum capacity of temperature is what 100 degrees celsius okay when a steaming will be start but temperature still constant that is again called what latent heat or latent temperature clear when a state of matter will be change but the temperature remain constant but the temperature remain constant that condition that position that state is called latent state latent condition latent temperature latent heat clear is there any doubt okay okay here we are having a glass beaker inside of that beaker there is a water and we are putting some ice cube inside of that beaker and start to giving heat that beaker by using a burner or candle okay you observe here for observation you must be put here a thermometer a thermometer it will help you to observe the change in temperature change in temperature okay so initially of initially the temperature will constant why i am telling you okay now here. suppose the temperature of water is normal room temperature the temperature of water is what normal room temperature but after that putting inside of the water the temp the thermometer temperature will change why because of inside of water there is the ice cube okay there is the ice cube okay leave it whatever the temperature we are not concerned about that so when we start to giving heat the bottom of the beaker it means what the bottom layer water getting heat energy getting heat energy and here one thing you must be remember that is what the density of cold water and hot water the density of cold water and hot water is not same is not same okay here we again write a sentence in the form sentence there is what density of cold water and yes density of yes hot water is not yes is not same why 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 because of when we observe cold water and hot water then practically we we'll, we are able to see the distance between two water molecule will be different in a cold water and hot water whenever we are trying to increase the temperature of water then the distance between two water molecule will be start to increase start to increase 
so whenever the distance start to increase it means what the density will be decrease the density will be decrease are you getting me okay so here whenever the water molecules getting the heat more than the this water then this droplet move upward side this droplet move upward side and the upper molecule replace with that hot air molecules are you getting me means the cold water come here and hot water goes to the upside why because of the density of hot water is less than the cold water okay so whenever the hot water comes over the surface of water then the hot water make to the ice cube the hot water make to the ice cube so here due to that meeting here the increase of temperature of that hot water again decrease again decrease due to what meeting with the ice cube clear due to that transforming of water molecules up to the some time means up to the particular time the temperature of that mixture is same temperature of that mixture is same means constant there is no decrease and there is no increase why why we are still providing heat energy na and still there is no change in temperature how it is possible that possible due to what whenever the water molecules getting enough heat to reduce its density they move upward they move upward or whenever the water molecules come at here they meet with ice cube then thermal energy expand this thermal energy again help to make that ice cube fasty yeah the thing is happen here that is possible is what the ice more ice cube made fast clear so when this all what ice cube getting made now it's time to start increase in temperature now it's time to start increase in temperature okay but before melting before melting all ice cube were continuously giving heat means at that time whatever the temperature is that before melting all ice cube i am talking about what before melting all ice cube the temperature is what latent okay why because of heat is what there is no change in temperature due to that heat okay when these all ice cubes are melted now it's time is what to increase in temperature okay the temperature will be increase 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 up to the infinite infinite no up to only 100 degrees celsius dear you are not observing me and i'm saying you the temperature increasing infinite and then still you are moving your heads in a positive approach no we are taking example of water and we know very well water only carry maximum 100 degrees celsius when the temperature of that mixture is reached at 100 degrees celsius it means what it's time to come change the state of matter change the state of matter means after that reaching 100 degree celsius water start to boil water start to boil and this this point is also called yes we are already discussed that is what boiling point of what water water this is what boiling point of water clear okay so whenever the steam will be start to emit from the surface of the water it means the time is come to change a state but still temperature is constant if you try to observe the temperature of whole mixture is constant that is what only 100 degree okay but if you try to preserve the steam means in our pressure cooker we are preserving steam we are not allowed to 
go away steam from the pressure cooker we use that steam for the giving the pressure on that particular food with higher temperature it means what steam have the ability to hold max temperature than the water steam have the ability to hold max temperature than the water means water is able to only hold 100 degrees celsius but steam definitely greater than the water why because of it's a another state of matter it is a another state of matter and in if you try to compare the maximum heat holding capacity or temperature holding capacity of water and steam then you can easily say steam having the maximum capacity than the water to hold the temperature that is that is a good example of what and in your real life the max time we will observe that is what when our hand is comes directly contact with the steam while the cooker is blowing the vessel if your hand contact with that steam and your hand directly contact with the flame then at the two time you will feel more pain when your hand comes in contact with the steam as compared to the flame if your hand directly comes in contact with that flame then definitely your hand will be burned you will have injury okay but that injury is less than the when your hand comes in contact with steam injury is more than the flame why because of the temperature of steam is more than the flame of that particular water are you getting me don't try to do this i am just giving you the example clear okay okay here we are having the hops apparatus arrangement here inside of this cylinder we have sari raat neend na aave mainu bada tadpaave dil chain kahi na paave ba Here we are having the hoops apparatus. Here inside of this beaker we are having the mixture, freezing mixture. Okay, this is called what? Yes, yes, freezing mixture. Okay, and here is the water. Now the temperature of this water is what? Zero degree Celsius. Okay. Now suppose here. this freezing mixture after that freeze it release from this tap okay when this all ice cube are getting melt all all okay then the temperature of inside of that cylinder of that water it becomes what 4 degrees celsius it means what here yeah, this ratio this is what yes analogous behavior of water yes water. water this is analogous behavior of water means between 0 degree celsius and 4 degree celsius okay here the state of water the state of matter is what liquid okay we are using here what this freezing solution this freezing mixture okay but whenever the temperature is 0 to 4 degree celsius okay in in between 0 and 4 that range is what analogous behavior of water. water okay that is what analogous behavior of water don't get misunderstanding between latent and analogous analogous means similar that is what similar here the change in temperature 0 to 4 then what kind of analogous nature here that is what the distance between two molecule will remain same the distance between two water molecule remain same remain constant that is called analogous behavior whenever the distance between two water molecule will be changed it may be reduce or it may be increase it may be reduce or it may be decrease doesn't matter we are not concerned about the increasing and decreasing we are just concerned about what the distance between of two water molecule will be decrease or increase it means what 
the change of state it means what change of state but here change of state means change of temperature in short it means what change of temperature but here here the change of temperature 0 to 4 but the distance between water molecule remain constant in between this range there is no change occur in two water molecules clear so whenever the temperature will below 0 degree or above 4 degree then you will be see the change in distance between water molecule okay whenever the temperature goes down the 0 degree then the distance between two water molecules will be reduced will be reduced or whenever the temperature will cross or goes up to the 4 degree celsius then you will observe or you will see the distance between two water molecules will be start to increase 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 and when the temperature is rich 100 degrees celsius then it means what time to change the state of matter water start to boil and steam will be coming or it means what vaporization that is what vaporization clear this is it